my audio didn't work for this video, so I hope you bear with me as I do a voiceover. I created this free garden journal for you to download and I'll leave the link in the description. You can plan out your year's garden. It's got a year summary, it's got a rainfall chart, it's got a garden layout so you can plan where you're going to plant everything. It's also got month to month um, charts so you can take notes, jot down the weather and write a to-do list for each month. Then we go into seasonal um, pages where you can note down anything you need for summer, autumn, winter and spring. Things like what to sow, what to do, what to harvest and plant, shopping lists, things to prune and feed. Then we've got a vegetable variety list. So you can write down different varieties of beans, for example, frost bean or azuki bean or butter bean. And you can list everything or every variety that you're planting. And then I've got a planting tracker. I've left this blank because people from all over the world can use this. So if you're in Australia, you can start planting beans in October, for example. But if you're in America, you might have to wait till spring in your area. And then we've got an edible record. So you can write down your harvest um, for each um, crop that you're planting out. We've got an expense log and a pest and disease log and soil health log too. So I hope that you enjoy this and feel free to share this with all of your green thumb friends. Our aim on the farm is to be self-sufficient. So I wanted to show you everything that we're growing. We have a heap of kohlrabi growing at the moment and that's kind of like a broccoli stalk so you can eat it raw or you can cook it. This is my coriander, it's gone to seed. So I'm going to dry it and use the seed for culinary purposes and to replant. I've got a few parsley plants down the bottom too. We have a stack of tomatoes. We want to preserve this for winter and for summer. And I think this variety here is a trust tomato. These popped up out of my mum's compost. We have a heap of kale and a heap more tomatoes. We've got a few varieties. I think we've got a black Russian here and a black crim. And down here is my eggplant. We're getting a few flowers, so hopefully we get a good harvest on that too. And at the back, we've got some broccoli growing and a few more through here, but the chickens came in here and scratched them all up. So I've only got a few that survived. We have a heap of carrots. They're going really good. There's the chook. <laughs> um, this is my volunteer silver beet. It's doing phenomenal. I haven't had silver beet that looks like this ever. And back here, we've got some celeriac, which is kind of like a celery that grows out of a big ball tuber thing. And then I've got some more leeks at the back um, with a few more um, carrots through here and some straggling onions. We have a stack of zucchinis at the moment. They're loving this hot weather. We use them quite a bit, so we're happy with that. And back here, we've got all our berries. This is a cross between a raspberry and a blackberry, and it's really, really delicious. We have a few more cane fruits through here. I think these ones are raspberries. And we've got a few blueberry plants, but they're not doing too well because they were neglected before we moved in. So we're trying to make them thrive. So next year we can get a lot of fruit. And these are some potatoes in my orchard. I'm just doing a quick run through, but we've got some quince and a stack of apple trees through our farm. So we're hoping to make some cider and preserve these as well as eat them fresh. We don't know what varieties the, these are, so hopefully they're good eating to my, um, apples. And we've got a heap of chestnut trees through here too. And this here, I thought it was nectarine, but it's actually a plum and it's nearly ripe. Up here we have a few olive trees. I believe they're a dual purpose, so we can use them for oil and for preserving. And I believe this tree here is another plum tree. We've got some sweet potatoes growing through the mounds in the orchard. 
These are my potatoes and they're just about ready to be harvested, so I'll pull them out at a later date. This is my capsicum and chili bed, and we've got lots of little flowers opening and a few baby capsicums coming on. I think in America you call these guys peppers. And this is my braxia patch, which is just about finished. I need to pull out some of the cabbages. This is my herb garden, and it's doing really well. We've got a huge variety of herbs in here that we use daily. And what I'm most excited about is this little guy tucked away in the corner. It's my turmeric plant that's decided to sprout and it has the most wonderful flower. And the rhubarb patch is doing really well as well. We harvested some of these the other day and it was absolutely delicious. The cows are going home to sleep for the night. But what an absolutely stunning view. We are so lucky to live here. This here is my lychee tree, which is kind of like a really sweet tomato. And it's doing really well and flowering really well. And we're starting to get a few baby lychees on here. They're only the size of a cherry tomato, but they are very sticky and sweet. And they last for two years. So they're a really great plant to have in the garden. And what's really awesome too are these spikes. So it keeps the predators away. There's spikes everywhere, all through the leaves and the stem, so you don't get birds or other animals coming in to have a nibble. And your fruit's mainly protected from it, so that's really cool. Down here are my big, my big Max pumpkins. And these grow to the size of about 200 kilos, which is bigger than those pigs behind me. They grow to 150 kilos, so that's crazy. But it looks like we've got a couple of babies that have taken and hopefully we get some good sized pumpkins. I'm happy with 50 kilos or so. We have a heap of cucumbers coming up, which is really awesome. I didn't think I was gonna get any this year. And these guys here are okra or okra. I'm not sure how you say them, but they're starting to flower. So I'm really excited to try these for the first time. And I've got a heap of drying beans back here to put in the pantry for over winter, as well as my snow peas and my potting peas. So hopefully we can cover these because our potting peas got eaten by parrots over winter. So hopefully we can hide those from the parrots this year. And I've got my first cucumber growing. This is ready to be picked, so we can't wait to enjoy this. We've got a stack of tomatoes, but these guys are accidentally burnt with blood and bone. So hopefully we get a few tomatoes off these bushes as well with my cover crop and all my pumpkins. We've got a stack of pumpkins here. There's a few more tomatoes. And what I'm most excited about is this permaculture system of the three sisters. We've got corn, beans, and spaghetti squash growing underneath them as a living mulch. But that's it for today, guys.